More people are leaving Illinois than moving into the state. But the story is bigger than that, according to an Illinois think tank who studied the issue. News 10's John Swanner has more. More people left Illinois in 2011 than any other state in the country, including Washington, D.C. That's according to the Chicago-based think tank, Illinois Policy. We lost people, we lost income, we lost taxpayers, and it speaks to the problems that we're facing today. Here's what Illinois Policy found. Illinois lost 24,000 taxpayers and 26,000 dependents to other states. When these taxpayers left, they took their incomes and income taxes with them. The average income of the people who left in that year was $63,000. The average of the people who came in was $53,000. So it's a very bad trade-off. We're losing $10,000 per uh, migrant in and out, but then also there are more people leaving than there are coming in. The net loss of adjusted gross income in Illinois in 2011 was $2.5 billion. That's $600 million more than 2010. If people are moving out of the land of Lincoln, where are Illinoisans moving to? Illinois policy says it's been popular for years for them to move to places like Texas and Florida. But they're also moving to neighboring states like Indiana, whose tax structure are much more business friendly. 2011 is also the same year the Illinois General Assembly implemented a huge income tax increase. And Illinois policy says another tax increase will simply compound the problem. When they raise the taxes more and more, it's just driving more and more people out of the state. With photojournalist Tony Cassasia, I'm John Swanner, News 10. Illinois policy says the IRS should release 2012 and 2013 data in about two months.